Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about inter-process communication and synchronization. So what is an inter-process communication? Well, inter-process communication is an ability of one program to communicate with another program. The process can be on the same computer or different computers connected through a network. Okay, so let's talk about inter-process communication in a distributed system. Now, what is a distributed system? Well, a distributed system is a collection of computers or nodes that are connected to each other through a network. And we will discuss about the distributed system in detail later on. However, for now, let's focus on the inter-process communication in a distributed system environment. So, processes can communicate in two ways. First is the shared memory and second is message passing method. Let's talk about shared memory. Okay, so let's talk about the shared memory model first, which is on the left hand side. So in shared memory model, a region of memory is established, which is shared by the cooperating processes. The processes can then exchange information by reading and writing data to the shared memory region. So in this case, let's say a process A wants to communicate with the process B. So what's going to do is is going to write the information on in, onto the shared memory and then process B is going to read uh, from the shared memory. Okay, and that's how they communicate with each other. That's how these two processes communicate with each other. So that's your shared memory model. And in the message passing model, process A is going to generate a message. That message is going to get passed to the kernel. And then the kernel is going to pass the message, that particular message to the process B. So this message from process A goes to the kernel and the same message goes to the process B. So that's how the inter-process communication takes place between uh, the processes in these two models.